Hey everybody, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com and we're going to take a quick look at the GSI Outdoors Selkirk 540 Camping Stove. This is a really nice option if you're going to be doing any kind of car camping or you're just going to be setting out up outside of your car. So maybe you're overlanding or you just want to be able to set up on the back of your tailgate or you want to put your stove on maybe a, a camping table or something like that. This is a really nice way to do that. Really works on any kind of flat surface. Um, all in all, I think this is a really nice stove for several reasons. Mainly, it's going to be very portable. It's also really easy to use and easy to clean. And it's also pretty easy to adjust at the temperature and um, also get it started. Now, the cons for this is that it does use the push button style that's a piezo uh, ignite, igniter. Those can be a little bit tricky, a little bit finicky. A lot of other cook stoves use them as well. It's kind of a thing that's known with those. So if you've ever used them before, you'll know what I'm talking about with you kind of have to like adjust the temperature or adjust the, the fuel output to get it to start consistently every time. So you just kind of have to play with that. Of course, you can always bring some matches or a lighter to have as a backup, uh, but having that push button kind of, it kind of uh, negates having the push button if you have to go that route. So that's just that one thing to keep in mind with this. Uh, it should work, but you might have to just kind of play around with it to get it to work every time. The other thing is that the grate is pretty close to the flame. So that can be kind of good or bad. It depends on how you cook. Uh, if you're going to be cooking on high all the time and you don't really need to simmer stuff on low, shouldn't be a problem. It's actually kind of nice because then it helps things to boil faster. So if you're trying to just boil some water and you want it to heat up quickly, you don't have to wait forever for your hot water to boil. This is actually pretty nice because it does heat up water pretty fast for the BTU output, which is about 10,000 BTUs per burner. Uh, but if you've got maybe uh, thinner cookware that's a little bit more delicate, or again, you want to do some kind of simmering stuff on a really low heat, it, it does burn kind of hot. So that's something to keep in mind there. But if we take a closer look, something else that I like about this is that it's really easy to clean. To pull off the grate, you just lift it up and pull it off and you can wipe everything down. So that makes cleanup really easy. Also, the panels on the side provide really good wind resistant or wind protection. Also gives you some splatter protection as well. So again, if you're gonna be putting this on your tailgate, you don't want a whole bunch of over splatter, makes it nice there. Just trying to get these little tines put back in. Uh, that's pretty much the hardest part of getting that grate back put back in place. Setup, takedown, pretty easy. This just kind of locks into the lid. Our connector for our fuel just goes on the side here. And this can stash inside. So it makes it really portable. I'm just gonna try to figure out the best place for that to go. There we go. So this just kind of stashes in there, close it up, and that's pretty much all there is to it. It's about the size of a briefcase. We've got this little cutout handle to make it pretty easy to carry around. It's just a cut in handle, so it's not the most comfortable thing ever. If you're having to trek with this for miles, it might be kind of annoying, but if you're just going uh, a little ways with this, you know, again, you're, you're doing a car camping setup and you're not having to travel super far, it's really easy, weighs less than 10 pounds, so it's really not heavy at all. I think the outer housing is fairly durable. Of course, if you drop it, it's probably gonna get dented, um, but I think it should be able to withstand several years of use. The bottom doesn't get too hot. The hottest part, whenever you're using it, uh, besides the cooking surface itself, are those little wind protectors. Those do get kind of warm, but um, shouldn't damage the surface that you're cooking on or anything like that. So all in all, I think this is a really nice camping stove. It's very uh, efficient, it looks cool. It sets up and takes down really easily, easy to clean. The only bad thing is just the finicky starter. And then if you want it, uh, it, it does burn kind of hot. So that's just something to keep in mind there. As far as what you can put on here, you can put on uh, two 10 inch pots or pans. You've got about 21 inches of space in between these two wind protectors. So you can put on uh, anything that's a, within that. So about two 10 inch pans should fit pretty well together there. And all in all, I think it should make a great addition to your camping setup.
So I hope this video has been helpful in deciding if this is the right stove for you. We do have some other camping gear here at eTrailer.com, so check it out. Thanks for watching.